Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subs. Thanks for joining us here. On this channel, we like to have some good old boat and outboard fun and other stuff. So, thanks for joining us. And, uh, well, in my last couple of videos, I've been, uh, you know, loading up. A buddy of mine loaded me a very capable truck for hauling scrap out to the heap. You understand? So, that's what I started doing. And in the comments, you know, oh, you shouldn't have threw that away, man. That thing had all kind of valuable parts. Oh, you got to keep those and blah, 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 blah. You know, you know, I don't throw that away. You could sell a lot of those parts on eBay. Don't do it. Well, you know what it means when I wear this hat. It means somebody came bearing the gifts. Let's go look. This is how it often happens. So there's six that weren't here two days ago. And that's how they often come. Three, five, six, eight at a time. Happy to get these because they all for the most part, have some good propellers on them. Some of them have good transom clamps. Some of them don't. Um, I don't think there was a single starter bracket on any of them. Uh, that blue one there does not have a tiller handle. But it has a recoil, and if it had a starter bracket, it would be right there. So it don't have one. Oh, there. You can see it was tiller. The tiller handle's missing right here. Um, good coils, good recoil starters, carburetors, garbage radars. But for the most of them... They all got pretty good propellers on them. And, uh... Primers. Kill switches. These are the old... Above the prop dischargers. That don't mean nothing. And... So that's how they come. And he also had a couple of larger Yamahas um, that I told him, nope. I told him I didn't want anything that big, 90s and such, that were older. That's how I get them. Truckloads at a time.
Well, I'm gonna, I had to take a break on the uh, little f four horsepower deluxe to get this guy going. Um, I got a fella's coming by wants to buy it. It's been setting a while, but uh, got a little dust on it. So I'm gonna light off my compressor real quick, and let that impeller soak. Um, if they've been sitting a while, it's good to do that because in my tank, I got all that good juju in there. You know, that juju, what's good in that tank right there, then that tank right there, and that tank, it's in there. Um, so I'm going to light off the compressor, blow it off, I'll be right back. Alright, I cleaned her off a little bit. Let's choke it. Now, when this thing first fires up, it's going to smoke a little because I'm using the same hose that I use on my two-stroke outboards. This is a four-stroke um, Evan Root. So, it's going to smoke a little bit until it gets most of that two cycle that's in the gas line and the gas hose burnt through it so let's see what we get choke okay. now let me give a little pop start to bring her to where's it at um, um, Undo the choke. Let me see. Shouldn't take much. Instead of me sitting here yanking all night. It's been at least four months since this thing's been started. There we go. I got a little screen in here. Open its throat. Got a little screen in
running out of gas. The clip won't seal well. Petroleus off me. Don't want to sound like a low rent or smell like a low rent outboard mechanic. You know, you know. Let's pull that, do that, all that. I don't want to do that one. This is just some cheap Wally lubricant. I'm just going to spray it down. I blew the dust off of it. Give her a good wipe down. There. Get my rag. Make it look a little super fluffy. You know, you know. Gotta make them look spiffy. It's not a bad little outboard. Um, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think the way these things went, I think, and I, I don't know this. If anybody knows or has information, say something down below. Let me know. Um, is this a Tahatsu powerhead? I know that this lower unit, or I've been told that on this 9915 four stroke, badge Devonrude, made by, I think, Tahatsu, maybe not. But I was told that this lower unit would come right off of here and bolt on the 93 or later um, two stroke Evinrude 9.915s. I was even told it. Um, 
would fit the older low profile 9915 Avenue Johnson but you might have to adjust the linkage um, for the shift link a little bit so but I, I, I've had a couple people tell me they think that Tahatsu made the power head for it and then maybe uh, the lower and then the Avenue took parts it already had and made the, the lower unit or used their lower unit. I don't know if any of that's true. If anybody knows, let me know. I, I've, I've done a little research on it, but haven't been able to find much on it. So, and then I see that it's got a busted transom clamp, so I'll have to take care of that. Stoy! Now I took the, I took a 7 16th socket and took the cap, um, clamp off the back. I'm going to try and just screw this one out of here and screw a new one in. Sometimes they can get a little bit stubborn to come out. But I can normally get them. I had to stand the engine up like this because I can't get to it on this. She seems like she's coming out all right. And they always get tight at the end because the end is flattened some. So you just gotta grunt through it. And I do like this style of vice grips. It, it catches it right there. Hopefully you can see that. It makes like a diamond shape. The flat ones always slip off. She's coming out. There we go. See that style of ice grip. I like this one. It like diamond, I clip it. There we go. Now let's get the let's get the another one. And before I go back in there with it. I'm slathering it up with the anti-geese. You know, the anti-geese. It's a little duck butter geese. The anti-geese. See that? That's just a little shouldered 7 16 bolt right there. So now we got to put this one back in. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Hmm. I'm going to run it in a little bit. You know, in. Then I'm going to run it out. Get that geese in there. And just take your, your feener. Now, it's going to be easier for some of you guys. See, I got these old fat feeners. My feelers are fat. You know what? But at least I ain't got like my buddy Charlie. He got no feeling in his fingers. He 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 can't feel the tips. He's had surgery and everything. He can't feel it. He can't. That would suck. You know? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cross thread this thing. There. Oh, I thought I had. I thought I had it. These old fat feelers of mine, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. There we go. There we go. Back it back out. Get my suck it. Get my suck it. Run it home. Oops, going the wrong way, doofus. Where am I? Man, it's got to be going that way, righty-tighty. If it's righty-tighty... There. Mm. There we go. Now we got some clampums. We got some clampums. Look at that big old heavy, 
heavy four stroker. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. See if I can get my my deal here to do my deal. Mm -hmm. That's all as low as she goes right there. So I'm gonna have to lift it the rest of the way. But it's got a nice handle there. Oops. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Now, got two nicey clamps. Go back in. Let her soak in the in the good juju in the tank in the tank in the juju in that tank right there in the in there and there's some juju in that tank. I'm gonna let it, that impeller and everything soak in there overnight. And he's supposed to come and pick it up. Now you wonder, well, how much you get for that? I tell you, I tell you. Good. Cold. Laskin water. Um, yeah, so this Evan Rude four stroke nine <coughs> earned nine. Um, The fellas come by and looked at it a, a couple of times. I forget what he said he wants. To... I don't think it was a raft. I, for, I forget what he, he said he was going to put it on. Um, but I made sure. Over and over I made sure. Is it a short shaft? Does your boat take a short shaft? Because I cannot tell you the times that I've had. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it takes a short shaft. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a, it's a short shaft. Oh, I know it for sure, yeah. No, I've had the thing for years. It's a short shaft. Yeah. Two hours later, they're back. <laughs> Damn, come, I can't believe that. You know, I, 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 I tried to put it on there and it, it wouldn't go. You know, it just, ah, ah, the, the prop would jump behind it. Just, you know, it wasn't catch enough water. Yeah. Yeah. That's because you need a 20 inch, a long shaft. So I get that a lot. So I told this guy here, you go measure it. You measure it twice. When you get done measuring it, that sixth time, you come back and talk to me. And uh, so he claims his transom is 14 and a half, 14 and three quarters or whatever. If it is so, this engine will do fine. So if you want to know what I get for this, I told him he could have this motor for $400. And... Uh, that may seem a little on the inexpensive side. Um, it runs really nice, actually. And uh, if this was a Honda four-stroke or a Yamaha four-stroke, the price would be double that minimum. So why only 400 for this one? The reason why, and I've told him this, I, 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 I was straight up with him and I told it to him several times. Largely, for this motor, what I see is that it is unsupported parts-wise. Um, even though you can go to US, you know, EvanRudeUSA.com and, and from, I think, 68 up, you can, you know, they still got a lot of parts and you can buy parts and you can go to Boats.net, iBoats. Crowley, Marine Engine. Um, for this motor, 
I have not found much in the line in the way of a, a parts line for it. I know when I first got this motor, it had carbur rater issues. And uh, I looked, couldn't find nothing, and then finally I found the upper half of one of these carbs on ePay. And that's what I needed. I, I needed um, the upper half that had the adjustable fuel-air mixture on top. And if I remember right, it's, pla it's plastique. And, but I, I got that, I bought it off of eBay, and then um, came in, put it on, started it up, wouldn't idle, adjusted it, boom, adjusted just perfect. And so, um, but prior to that, I had looked on several of those Marines part sites online, and I could not find um, the part for this one and I've also had a couple more of these over the years that have come in same thing I'd be looking for whatever now that water pump and all that you can get just fine because it's just uh, it's leftover two-stroke stuff or they use two-stroke so you can get a water pump you can get a shift handle you can get all the throttle parts for the throttle um, helix on it and everything you can get that but if you need something like an intake manifold a carburetor, uh, maybe even a fuel pump. I'm not sure about the fuel pumps. I think, well, you can, for somebody like me and many of you, you can overcome that fuel pump. There's many ways to get around an inoperative fuel pump. All you need is a, well, I ain't got none, but you, on them you can find a pulse. You find a, a pulse. So you can get around the fuel pump. You can get around a lot of things. Um, but because it was unsupported, um, I thought a reasonable price would be 400 And I told him, you know, that's the way it is with this motor. Take care of it. You'll probably be just fine. But it is mechanical. It has been used in salt water, etc. So hopefully he'll get it, take care of it, and... Uh, flush it, rinse it, mist it, wipe it, lube it after every trip. Sure. Um, so, I'm tired. I've been going at it all day. I know it don't look it, but I am getting hungry. So I'm going to go get me something to eat. So I don't know if there was a hack and all that or not. But, anyway. As always, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.